hello everyone in this video i am going to create a feature wall which you can use in your projects you, uh, by using a family created in the curtain panel pattern based and now let's start the tutorial open a new project file i am using the imperial system template and now uh, place a reference plane the shortcut key for reference plane is RP and place a reference plane like this where you want to place the wall and I have named it as 1. Now go to the north elevation and here I need to draw the wall. But before that I am placing two more reference planes in this vertical position as according to the width of the wall. So now go to the north elevation and now uh, i'm going to place the model line with the shortcut key for that is li and i have set the reference plane to one which the, that horizontal reference plane which we have drawn in the level one floor plan and i'm going to place these five lines basically i need to create the squares so i have placed these lines and then using the dimension tool i'm going to keep the distance between them as equal so as you can see the distance between the two lines is 1 feet 8 inches so uh, in the I'm also going to place some vertical lines at an offset of 1 feet 8 inches So here we have placed the lines. Now uh, these are all equal squares of 1 feet 8 inches by 1 feet 8 inches. Now open a new family template file of curtain panel pattern based. Now select this pattern, click here and set the horizontal spacing and the vertical spacing as 1 feet 8 inches. If you remember that is the dimensions uh, of the squares in the project file. Now let's place the two lines in the horizontal plane like this and then give these lines an offset of one inches one inch okay once you have uh, placed those delete the previous lines and place a reference place a reference point at this corner now select this reference point and give it an offset of 2 inches that will move it in the z axis. Delete the lines as we don't need it anymore. Then select the reference line. Make sure drawn face is selected. 3D snapping is checked and then connect these points like this. Now select these lines use control button for multiple selection and click on create form give this box an offset of one inch now select this complete square and for that remember to press the tab button on the keyboard and once you have selected all of this give it a material parameter Now load this family file in the project and go to the elevation and place the component like this 1, 2, 3 and 4. Select it and let's 
mirror it in the opposite direction like this now select this component and mirror it like this and then select both of them and mirror it like this okay so I'm going to select these four components and make it and I'm going to copy it on all of the remaining squares Once you have placed all the components, you can delete the remaining model lines as we don't need it anymore. And this is what this final design looks like. So basically you can create any type of feature wall using this technique and process. I have also previously created a one more. Uh, feature wall using this technique and I will share the link in the description box to check that out and I hope you like this tutorial that's all for today and don't forget to like share and subscribe have a nice day